I'm Jasmine Amarasekara, and I'm a research specialist at Scribe Therapeutics. So we're currently using our NextSeq 1000 to perform amplicon sequencing to assess the directed evolution of our next generation CRISPR molecule. Hi, my name is Ephraim Lim. I'm assistant professor at Arizona State University, and I lead the SARS-CoV-2 sequencing program. At ASU, we are a major testing facility for SARS-CoV-2 cases. We have statewide testing sites that send samples to ASU for COVID testing. Any positive samples then comes up to our lab, where we then sequence the genomes of these viruses to understand the mutations and variants that arise. My name is Majdi Alabadi. I am a, an associate research faculty at the University of Georgia, Athens, in the plant biology department. We use NixSeq 2000 in sequencing uh, different genomic uh, resequencing libraries or uh, gen whole genome resequencing libraries. Single cell uh, RNA seq and ATAC seq, uh, all chromatin biology related applications, uh, metagenomics, exome sequencing, you name it. If I could describe the next seq 1000 with just one word, I would have to say efficient. Whereas now that we have the next seq 1000, we can sequence up to 400 samples at one time, which allows us to now translate that to thousands of cases in one week. I think there is a significant improvement in the sequencing efficiency in my lab and the amount of data and the cost and the efficiency of everything we do with the next Seq 2000. The next Seq 1000 is much more cost effective for us compared to the MySeq. We are you know, able to get about four times more savings per sample in terms of sequencing. With cost savings, that means that we can sequence more cases of COVID-19 for that same budget that we have. And that means the difference between you know, 5,000 cases versus 10,000 cases, it's a big difference. Um, we need to get a really good understanding of the virus in this pandemic and any more case that we can sequence, it's a big win for us. We were all very surprised when we saw how easy it is to operate the next Seq 2000 and how easy it is to start the uh, sequencing run. Having this cartridge, a small cartridge that has all things in it, the fluidics, the reagents, the waste, everything in the same cartridge, and you just put the flow cell in it and put it in the machine. So we did not actually have hands-on experience prior to this on how to sequence samples on the machine. But really the next Seq 1000 is it's really easy to use that um, with very minimal training, anyone in my lab now actually can load and run the machine. Having something that has that kind of data output and that kind of cutting edge technology that can also just sit on a bench top and be used by anybody is really remarkable. Okay, I can imagine people who are new to uh, Illumina Sequencer will be very pleased to start their experience with the next Seq 2000. I think that for the scale of uh, genomics research that we're stepping into um, in the modern age, the, uh, a machine like the NextSeq 1000 is definitely uh, the way to go.